Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. With that in mind, guys, if you want to advance your career as a Monstack developer, you can check out Simply Learn's Full Stack Developer Monstack Masters program offered in collaboration with IBM. This comprehensive course will equip you with the top skills such as MongoDB, Express.js, React, and Node.js, along with Git, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to build and deploy interactive applications and services. You can check out the link in the description box and pinned comment. So let's get started. So let's get started with introduction to full stack development. So guys, full stack development involves working on both the front end and the back end web applications. As a full stack developer, you will handle everything from user interfaces to server management, making you a versatile asset in the tech industry. And if we talk about front-end development, so it focuses on the part of the application that users interact with directly. This includes the layout, design, and interactive elements of a website or app. You will use languages like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to create a seamless and engaging user experience. On the other hand, back-end development deals with the server side of the application. And this includes managing databases, server logic, and application architecture. And you will work with server-side languages such as Node.js, Python, or Ruby and handle data storage with databases like MySQL or MongoDB. And as a full-stack developer, you combine both these skill sets, allowing you to build complete applications from start to finish. And this versatility makes you a valuable asset because you can understand and manage both the client-side and server-side of applications, ensuring they work together smoothly. Now we'll start with the roadmap and the first thing to learn to become a full stack developer is learn the basics of web development. So to start your journey as a full stack developer, you need to learn the basics of web development. And this includes understanding the core technologies that form the foundation of web applications. So the topics to cover are number one is HTML, that is hypertext markup language. And this is the standard markup language used to create web pages. It structures the content on the web page, that is you can learn HTML, with understanding the basic tags and how they structure a web page. And for the HTML project, you can create a simple web page with headings, paragraphs, links, and images. Now moving to the next technology that is CSS, that is cascading style sheets. So this language is used to describe the presentation of a document written in HTML. It controls the layout, colors, fonts, and overall style of the web page. And to learning that, you can explore how to style your HTML using CSS learn about selectors, properties, and values. And you can style your HTML page by adding colors, fonts, and layout adjustments. And then comes the JavaScript. So it's a programming language that allows you to create dynamically updating content. And you can control multimedia, animate images, and much more. And you can understand the basics of JavaScript such as variables, functions, loops, and events. And you can add interactivity to your HTML pages such as form validation for a simple image gallery. And with a solid foundation in these basics of web development, that is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you can now move on to mastering front-end frameworks and libraries that will enable you to build more dynamic and responsive applications. So now you have got the basics of web development. It's time to dive deeper into front-end frameworks. And these tools help you build more complex, interactive, and efficient web applications. So you can cover the number one, that is React. So it's a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. 
particularly single page applications where you need a fast and interactive user experience. And then comes Angular that is a platform and framework for building single page client applications using HTML and TypeScript. And then we have Vue.js that's a progressive JavaScript framework used for building user interfaces and single page applications. If we talk about how you can learn them, so you can learn React, you can start by understanding the core concepts of React such as components, JSX, state and props. And you can build a simple application like a to-do list or a weather app to get hands-on experience. And if we talk about Angular, you can explore Angular's core features such as modules, components, services and dependency injection. And you can create a simple project like a task manager or a data dashboard to practice these concepts. Now talking about Vue.js, you can get familiar with Vue.js reactivity system, directives and components. And you can develop a small application like a note taking app to apply what you have learned. And you could have another examples and use cases that is for React, you can build a dynamic user interface that updates in real time. And similarly, you can go with Angular and Vue.js. Now with a strong grasp of front-end frameworks and libraries, you have now equipped to create engaging and dynamic user interfaces. Next, we will explore the backend development to understand how to manage server-side operations and databases. So understanding backend development. So after mastering the front-end, it's essential to understand backend development. And this involves handling server-side operations, databases, and application logic, which are crucial to building fully functional web applications. And we can cover number one is server-side languages. So you can learn languages such as Node.js, Python, or Ruby. So these languages allow you to write the logic that runs on the server. And after that, we can learn the frameworks. And you can explore frameworks that simplify backend development, like Express.js or Node.js, Django for Python, and Ruby on Rails for Ruby. And then comes the databases. So you can understand both SQL, that is MySQL or PostgreSQL, and NoSQL, that is MongoDB databases, which are used to store and manage data. Now we talk about learning server-side languages. Here comes the Node.js, that's a JavaScript runtime built in Chrome. So you can enable JavaScript to be used for server-side scripting. And you can start by building simple server-side scripts. For example, create a server that responds with hello world when accessed. And if we talk about Python, you could have a versatile language known for its readability and efficiency. You can explore basic scripting and automation tasks. And talking about SQL databases, you can learn to interact with relational databases using SQL and create and manage tables and write queries to fetch data. So with a solid understanding of backend development, you are now equipped to handle server-side logic, manage databases and build complete web applications. Next, we will look into the how to manage databases more efficiently and integrate them with your applications. So now we'll learn database management. So to become a proficient full stack developer, understanding database management is essential and databases are critical for storing and retrieving the data that your application use. You can start with SQL databases like MySQL and PostgreSQL, which use structured query language to manage data in a structured format, like table, rows, and columns, and learn how to create and manage databases and write queries to insert, update, delete, and retrieve data. Designing relational databases for various applications is crucial for managing structured data efficiently. For instance, you can design a database for an online bookstore with tables for books, authors, and orders. This will help you understand how to structure data and perform operations like joins and aggregations to retrieve complex data sets. Now coming to NoSQL databases, so on the other hand, we can explore NoSQL databases like MongoDB, which store data in a flexible JSON-like format, making them suitable for unstructured data. You can gain skills in creating and managing collections and documents and perform CRUD operations to handle data efficiently. For example, building a database for a blogging platform where each blog post is a document in a collection will give you hands-on experience in managing unstructured data. This is particularly useful for applications requiring flexible schemas and high scalability. And you can integrate databases with the applications. That's a third option. So integrating databases with your application is also crucial. You can learn how to connect your backend server to the database using ORM, that is object relational mapping tools like SQLize for Node.js, SQL Alchemy for Python, or Active Record for Ruby on Rails. So these tools help simplify database interactions and allow you to work with database records as if they were objects in your programming language. For example, 
creating a restful api that interacts with your database to manage your user data for a web application will give you practical experience in building full-fledged applications that can handle dynamic content and user interactions now that you have a good understanding of database management system with learning all three formats that is sql no sql and integrating database with applications the next step is to get comfortable with version control which is essential for managing and tracking changes in your code so version control is essential for managing and tracking changes in your code you can start by learning it that is a widely used version control system that helps you keep track of different versions of your code and collaborate with others. You can use platforms like GitHub, GitLab or Bitbucket to host your repositories and manage your code online. You can practice creating repositories, making commits, branching and merging changes. Understanding these concepts will allow you to work effectively in teams, contribute to open source projects and ensure your code is organized and error free. For instance, for instance create a GitHub repository for your projects to track changes and collaborate with others seamlessly. And with a strong understanding of version control, you are now ready to explore DevOps practices and deployment, which are crucial for delivering your applications efficiently. So after version control, you should learn this, that is understanding DevOps. So DevOps practices and deployment are crucial for delivering applications efficiently. DevOps combines software development, that is dev and IT operations to shorten the development lifecycle and provide continuous delivery. You can learn about continuous integration and continuous deployment CI/CD pipelines, which automate testing and deployment processes. You can familiarize yourself with cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud, which offer services to host and manage your applications. And practicing deployment on your projects on these platforms will help you understand how to manage servers, databases, and networking, ensuring your applications are always available and scalable. And with knowledge of DevOps and deployment practices, you are well equipped to deliver robust applications. Next, let's focus on building projects and creating a portfolio to showcase your skills. So building real world projects and creating a portfolio are essential to showcase your skills and attract potential employers. So start by developing projects that incorporate both front-end and back-end technologies. Examples include an e-commerce site, a blog platform, or a social media app. Document your projects well, highlighting the technologies used and the challenges you work in. Create a personal portfolio project or website to display your projects, share your resume and provide a way for others to contact you. This portfolio will serve you as a testament to your capabilities and make you stand out in job applications. Now that you have a solid portfolio, you are ready to start applying for jobs and advancing your career as a full stack developer. So keep learning and building to stay ahead in the dynamic field. And now coming to last point that is stay updated and keep learning. So the tech industry is constantly evolving. So it's crucial to stay updated with the latest trends, tools and best practices. Join developer communities and follow tech blogs and participate in online forums like Stack Overflow and Reddit. And you can attend webinars, conferences and workshops to network with other professionals and learn about emerging technologies. And you can continuously take online courses to keep your skills sharp and learn new programming languages or frameworks. So by staying updated and continuously learning, you ensure that your skills remain relevant and you can adapt to the ever-changing landscape of full-stack development. So with that guys, we have come to the end of this session. You can utilize free resources like YouTube tutorials, community forums and documentation to guide your learning. And you can also join courses as I mentioned in the starting that you can have a Mernstack development certification. So guys, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. And if you have any doubts, you can comment down in the comment section below. See you next time. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.